Hey, how's it going folks? Ichi here with another iMovie tutorial. This time, we have a new update. Apple just pushed the most recent version of iMovie, and uh, we are on 10.0.7. Okay, so what do we got new here? We got a couple new things, a few new things, not a couple. The first thing they added in the update was the ability to browse the Photos app and all the events and pictures and things in there. But right now, that is still in a beta, so you have to download the newest uh, OS X version to get that ability to actually look into that, that Photos app. And I haven't bothered. It's just about ready to release it, so no big deal. So my, my guess is it's going to be up here in the library. You're going to be able to select just like iMovie, events, albums, faces, places, and, and things like that. You know, pretty straightforward. The next thing they added was the, if you look at the bottom of your player here, now these things your back, your play, your forward, and your uh, full screen button here are actually permanently viewed here. So no matter what size, they, they stay with it, which, which is actually pretty handy. So that's pretty cool. And continuing on at the bottom of the player here, instead of hiding the audio, it's actually in plain sight. So now anytime you need to do voiceover, you just click on the microphone. And now you have settings to the right of the record button here. Again, you can control the microphone and where the actual input source, the sound source comes from, and the ability to actually control the, the volume of that source. And if you like, while you're recording, you can actually mute the project. So if the project itself has audio, it doesn't interfere with your recording. Okay. So you got yourself a record button. Three, two, one, same as before. And then you have your settings there. The next two things are not so important. They have um, support for Sony's XAVCS format. It's a video format that comes from Sony video cameras. Okay. And last, there's some bug fixes and updates and you know efficiencies done to clean up the code and stuff like that. So that's what we got for the new update. So most importantly to me is the mic button here. The addition of the the forward back play and full screen here and soon as soon as the next version of OS 10 and the photos apps gets released we're gonna have the ability to you know sort through basically photos is gonna take the place of iPhoto okay so that's everything not too bad I mean I think it's pretty much all good putting things that used to be hidden right in front of your face and uh, I'm pretty stoked about it Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and, of course, a little bit of aloha. Thanks for watching.